Derby County are fourth in the table with a game in hand against Middlesbrough who are second. We're going to be playing Fulham in the first game of this episode. I believe it's episode uh, episode 22. I could be wrong there. I haven't um, looked up what number it is but I think we're up to episode 22 there. So if, if I have got the right episode then well done me. Um, but yeah, going on to the, the actual career mode and not about my... Uh, random predictions. We're playing Fulham at home um, in the first game of this episode. Um, I had to stop recording literally halfway through this match I think or less than halfway through this match because my Elgato started playing up um, but you'll see that in a second here. So this is what happened when my Elgato started playing up and yes I have my folder where I save all my Elgato stuff and it's called E lag toe, like how I spelled it on the screen. Uh, we went 1 0 up with that laggy goal, um, and we nearly make it to 58 minutes into this match. We get a corner, the ball comes in, uh, and nothing really happens until Reed shoots from about 20 yards out and scores a screamer off a goal. That's something you would see from Gerard, possibly Lampard, from about six, seven years ago. Um, we nearly let in a goal here. If it wasn't for the keeper, Getting his hands on it, he throws the ball out to uh, Vydra, who finds a fantastic pass to our striker up front, um, and we make it 3-0 here. That's a really good goal considering he shot towards the keeper and not to the near corner. Kicking the flag down, and it makes it 3-0. Last couple of minutes of the game, we've got three players up against two. Matty Phillips nearly scoring the fourth goal, and it finishes 3-0. Moving on straight into the second match here, not even showing you the lineup in this second match. We're playing a Birmingham City away. So the first match was a home game and the second match is an away game. Um, in this clip, this should be an easy clearance. I don't know how my defender didn't get to the ball first, but we go 1-0 down to a really poor defensive move. Uh, Vidra here, he's been key for the last couple of episodes chips the keeper kind of I don't really count that as a chipped goal the keepers already halfway down on the floor when he chipped it but we are 1-1 and we're back into this match moving on to the second half of this game and uh, I bought my keeper out which was a bit of a bad mistake don't normally do that uh, but when I do it normally tends to be a goal to the opponents kind of like that I mean the keeper wasn't out too far but Birmingham City go 2-1 up 80 odd minutes into the game and it finished 2-1. Moving on to the third game in this episode and we are playing QPR, a team I have a lot of respect for. I really feel bad for the team. Um, the owner wants to do good and he just everything he does seems to be going wrong. Hopefully in this match in FIFA 17 they carry on their bit of bad luck and we get at least a point in this match honestly. Blackett here passing the ball to Vydra, the man that's been on fire in the last couple of episodes, celebrating his first goal against QPR in this match, 13 minutes into the game. Uh, Fawn to Rashford here, bringing the ball into the box and kind of chipping again. I don't really count that as chipping, I've said that once in this video already. Celebrates by saluting the fans. 45 minutes into the game they nearly score their first goal in the match um, and literally the second half was just a dead match uh, we do finally score a third goal literally just before the whistle blows from a uh, header uh, but yeah it finished 3-0 and it was, wasn't really much to say in the second half at all so I sim the next match and I think this might be the second to final game in this episode we go 1-0 up with a ints goal Richie scores the second and I think the game finishes 3-1 so that's not a bad result against Brentford final game of this episode is against Sheffield United a team that in the past used to be a massive threat they've had a bit of bad luck in the last couple of years but they're slowly building themselves back up towards the premiership glory days that they used to be at uh, they're probably not there just yet we get a penalty literally 35 minutes into this game which I don't really know what happened but I do what I do always in this derby career mode series and forget how to take a penalty and waste an opportunity to go 1-0 up in the game moving on to the second half 58 minutes into the game and we had about seven shots at goal there and nothing happened whatsoever. Uh, 63 minutes into the game and Sheffield United uh, 
kind of went on the counter and nearly scored. And again, 90th minute into this match, Rashford running the ball into the box, tries to shoot from that far right corner area, uh, and nothing really happened. The whistle blows and it finishes nil-nil. So we are third. We've gone up a position in the league. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please hit that like button. Sub to me if you are new. And please leave some feedback below.